He's 90 yards from the bottom of the tree. Dave's got a bear spotted right above us here. There's a piece of brush between us and that bear, and we're looking at belly crawling. I'm gonna slip up and get a closer look. It might be the big one that we're looking for. The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you love. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the deserts of Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. Drop the back. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Ooh. to this week's choice. This week's yes. The Choice. Yes. Well, the choice was I couldn't go. The, the choice mm. was that Ralph had to have knee replacement surgery, so we had to send Joe and Z. And it was like pulling teeth, huh? Yeah, they really to go did. back up to BC, Trophy, Trophy West, West with, with Glenn, Glenn and, and the, the boys. Guys. And yeah. they're like, oh, do we have to? Do we have to? Ooh, if, um, Lucky Logo. Lucky Logo is Delta. That's right. Proper practice promotes perfect placement. Thank you for saying the right piece sure. on that one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end of the show, we'll pleasure. tell you what to do with that if you happen to see the logo. Um, Z and Joe. Z and Joe. You know, you, knee replacement. Gene. You remember the six million dollar guy? I'm the hundred and fifty dollar version. Yeah, that's not what the insurance said. No, no, mm -mm, not at all. But oh, well. they had a great time up there with Glenn. Uh, they, how what? could you not? It's the ultimate bear hunt. Yeah, I know. Anywhere you go, that it, this, this is. Ooh. I know. And then I couldn't go because I had to stay back with you. <sighs> Instead of Vicky and I going up to Trophy West with Glenn and Steve and everybody in BC, um, Joe and Z are going up there. And we were pumped up for them, excited. I bet you Z and Joe are really upset that you had to have me. Yeah, I bet you they're really, really burning up that, that they have to go on that hunt. Dr. Chris made some, I think it's called speculations. I don't think it's speculation. <laughs> I think it's I, true. Oh, well, what's it say? No Alberta, no Newfie, no four-wheeling, no climbing, and no tractor. So in other words, I can't do anything. This is one of Ralph's favorite bear hunts of the whole season. It came down to where Ralph had to have his knee replaced just before they were ready to leave. And Joe and I were blessed enough to be able to take their place. The first day we were in camp, we went to the rifle range to check the TC. As we pull into the shelter where we're gonna shoot the rifle, there's a mountain lion on an elk hill within 100 yards of where we're shooting. It just shows you how wild this country was that we were gonna be hunting. Look at that. The cat will be on this and it'll, it'll probably get a chance to eat quite a bit of this kill and a bear will smell it and come and chase the cougar off the, off the kill and uh, the cat will go on to hunting another animal, but it's uh, mother nature. Out of our lodge in Sayward, we do uh, a couple of different hunts. One's with our four wheel drives, rangers, uh, hiking, and the other one uh, is our boat. We take our uh, smaller boat out and do uh, day trips into Knight's Inlet, hunting the bears on the beaches and estuaries, set crab traps so we can have some fresh seafood at night, and uh, just hunt for the bears along the beaches. All right, we got the crab trap set, so now you gotta see kind of what we do when we're hunting on the coast out here in BC and Knight's Inlet. Ralph and Vicky, they've both had great success when they've hunted out of the boat like that. Uh, Vicky with the crossbow a couple of years ago, she's spotting and stalking. They find this bear on the bank, and uh, she sends a uh, spitfire right through him. Oh, good hit, Vicky. Good hit. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful job. My gosh, it's a beautiful bear, like I said, and I mean, I can't wait. And now the only thing is now it's Ralph's turn. You. So, bet. so we have to make sure that it's not bigger than mine. And then Ralph hunting from his dinghy. You got to remember hunting from the dinghy. <laughs> He's got the Hoyt in hand, floating in the dinghy, shooting bears on the shoreline. Thank you. Thank Good you work, pal. Good work. Unbelievable. 
Well, Glenn, David, Z and I, we all hunted really hard that day on the inlet. We didn't have the success that Ralph and Vicky have had in the past. It just, the bears weren't out right then. They're in that area, there's no question, but it's a matter of timing and, and our timing just wasn't there. We weren't too uh, discouraged because we knew we had crab traps in the inlet wait for us to get to. And uh, you don't know what you're gonna have when you pull them up, but man, were they packed that day. What was really cool is, you know, you think you just take it out and you dump them in the bucket, but you actually have to sort these out by male, female, and size, and the small ones and the females you let go, obviously, for to keep the population and the production going, but you keep those males. And we, we got a pretty decent amount in that cooler, and we were dying for the feast that night. We knew when we got back to camp, Shannon and the girls were gonna have a phenomenal feast for us with those Dungeness crabs. I'm just gonna move up here. <laughs> I see him, I see him. He's 90 yards from the bottom of the trail now. Down here, there's an old uh, logging road that's been put to bed and rehabbed, and uh, there's lots of really good grass on it. That's what we need. A known producer of the big boards, so we're going to go and see if we can find one for you. Maybe we'll bump into this guy. Dave spotted his bear about 100 yards ahead of us, and, and the three of us moved up on the bank so we could get our glass on him and, and really look him over good. The longer Dave looked at him, he was convinced that he needed a few more years to reach a size that they're wanting to take out of there. I didn't like that hackle sticking up on his back. And... What are you doing? Look, oh, there's bloodheads on there. Safety first. Speaking of safety, you see Z was out there with his TC and he's just trying to be safe and only had an encounter. So TC. the bear was safe. Oh, the bear. That's so mean. I know, now it's Joe's turn. Now it's Joe. Well, <laughs> Joe's the up. Bears. The bears are still safe. <laughs> just kidding, Joe. Last night we were down here in the estuary. Z was hunting. <clears throat> And when we walked down in the valley, we could actually see, Glenn saw three bears. We saw one, but two of them took off as soon as we walked around chasing each other. They were so far off, they didn't know we were there. So we're gonna sit on this again tonight. Glenn thought the one was a, a, a good bear. So uh, we're just gonna have to uh, hunker in there and wait till dark and see what comes out. And if something happens, we'll drop off the mountain there and uh, into the estuary and try and lay some out. This is the estuary we've been dreaming about all night. Whew. Dave just worked his way down in the valley. We're getting ready to leave. And he said, let me take a hike down by myself. Let's see if there's anything in the valley we're certain. And he just saw a bear working its way up the estuary. So as you can tell, he's breathing heavy because he hiked his butt up here to get us. So we're working our way down. He said he's 90 yards from the bottom of the trail now. There's a piece of brush in between us and that bear. Shoot that go. one now, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to facebook.com slash Ralph and Vicky. We probably just dropped 400 feet off the side of this, almost straight down. We're sliding in our butt part of the way. We gotta pop out on this trail, figure out where that bear's at. He was feeding his way back up towards the ocean. Hopefully he's still there. Well, 
there's a piece of brush between us and that bear, and we're looking at belly crawling to it. Which is way close enough for a shot. Great. If not, we're in our back pocket for me. All right. Started our stock, got halfway across the estuary. The bear was too far away. Realized at that point we were stalking the wrong bear. So we did a quick 90 degree shuffle. The bear we were after had moved out of sight and appeared within range on our left side. A stalk that was going sideways turned out perfect. Another great hunt for the choice. See, I'm cocked. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. As soon as he stops. Are you ready? Beautiful. Oh, Sandal. Coastal black bears in BC, baby. Right on. Let's smoke. Oh. Oh. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> I don't even know what to say, man. David took us out for me. Glenn had us up here last night. We saw bears in here. weren't sure what was actually here. We got another bear standing right here walking. And I got a bear down right up here. He has got a melon. Scars and oh. Nice big crease head. Look at that. Full big mature old bear. Been doing lots of fighting. He's got care. Look at it. Scars on his face, his ears are cut, big old noggin. When he come out of the brush and he turned and looked at us, you know, that, you saw them little bitty eyes, beady eyes in that crease. I'm like, oh man, that's what you come to BC for. There was no no decision to be made. No. This was a. He knew he was the shoot one to that go. that one now, Joe. Absolutely. TC you know, Shockwave and the TC put it on him. Ralph Fick, I wish you guys could be here for this hunt. I know you were supposed to be here. Ralph, Sir Drew, I was unexpected and appreciate you sending Z and I because this is a, definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity for us and you couldn't ask for any place better than Trophy West to be at, that's for sure. David, thanks so much, man. Hey. Oh, outside, you know what you want. I'm gonna get this. Yeah. Then he wants me to climb the mountains too. <laughs> Dave's got a bear spotted. I think we did the right thing. <laughs> this machine, after your surgery, it bends your leg. I truly believe that Vicky invented this machine for pure torture and pain and agony. While you're in all that pain, tell me why you have to have a towel here on your toes. It just gets me ready for my legs no. to be in the mountains. No, tell me, why is there a towel underneath your toe? <laughs> because this is made for taller people with longer <laughs> legs. You see how my wife is laughing at this? This hurts so bad. A couple days after Joe shot his bear, Glenn had us up on a mountainside overlooking this beautiful valley with a river in it. We were glassing for bears coming out into the grassy strips feeding. We actually spotted elk coming out onto the sandbar going across the river. It didn't take long before Dave spotted a bear. It was a long ways off, but it was so far off that Glenn decided we'd have to move in closer to get a better look at him and see if he's the size of bear we were looking for. Dave's got a bear spotted right above us here. We're gonna slip up. We can't tell the size because it's in like small trees. We're gonna slip up, get a closer look. It might be the big one that we're looking for. As we uh, crept in towards the, the boar, we noticed another smaller one on the right-hand side of us, another one on the left, just inside the alders that worked its way out. We couldn't get to the one we were actually after, the biggest one of that three uh, that we're showing. bigger bear, the one we were after, uh, 
was beyond the two other ones. And we were held up for a while, then the wind started to change, so we, we decided to take the one uh, that was closest to the, the timber edge. us if we waited to get that. <laughs> Good and nice and they The biggest bear was farther along, but we got one on either side. Mm -hmm. A so shifting a shifting wind and hey, we didn't it's a nice shoot. boar. <laughs> I, I would like the bigger one, but <laughs> good shooting. Good shooting. As we went up up to that uh, bear where we had shot it, we, we noticed another one walked out farther down from us and, and it was really large, but uh, we had a beautiful boar down and we're extremely happy with it. Yeah. Zendel made a really nice shot, and a bear uh, was, went less than 40 yards. That's one of my yeah. first black powder uh, experiences with uh, the TC, especially, and uh, very, very pleased with the results that came forward uh, from the hunter. Cool, Your cool. bear is dead, my friend. <coughs> very nice. He's a beaut, isn't he? Oh, beautiful. He's going to go... Blaze. It's going to go... <laughs> He's gonna scare the hell out of mid sixes, actually. Yeah, his teeth are old. Nice work. <laughs> you rascal, you. Good work, pal. Nicely done. He I undersized him <laughs> considerably. <laughs> That's a good way to be, you know. Well, it's always safe. But I didn't know where I hit him, but the smoke just completely wiped me out oh, for a second. You. you spun him good. This guy's got scarring like no tomorrow. He's been fighting. He's got a huge scar all through here. Look at Yeah. Big oh, scar there and there. Too. Oh, yeah. He's been fighting. Now he's got big old melon on him. Oh, big old melon. Look at the scarring. Both the sides scar of the up face. here, an old scar. He's been a fighting fool. A lot of bears right around here, and uh, he's been fighting for his women, I guess. Joe, look at it. Oh, yeah, old. Look at the recessed teeth there, broken yeah. teeth. He's just, just, just come out. Look at this. Look at the hair. Look at the hair right all through the pad. Hasn't worn at all. Look at it. Beautiful big bear. Look at this all. He's just come out. Look at down in here. Look at this. Hasn't worn anything off his legs. He's gorgeous. What a beauty. Hey, that was fun. <laughs> what a beauty. Way to go, pal. Nice stock, too. Ralph, we miss you. <laughs> Ralphie, we do miss you, pal. Ralphie, we do miss you, but you would we're loved doing it. okay. You would have loved it, Ralph. <laughs> you would have loved it. Good job, Z. Hey, Z, way to go, buddy. That's what it's about. You know, we got to thank Glenn and all the guys up at Trophy West because Absolutely. that's the ultimate hunt. And Joe I and mean, Z, we're proud of you all guys. All that good eating and everything else going on there that we should have been. But thanks, we weren't. Anyways, this week's lucky logo was Dr. Delta. Chris's fault. <laughs> I don't think so. It was <laughs> Delta Target. <laughs> if you happen to see the Delta logo, you need to log on to thechoicetv.com. Click on the lucky logo button. Fill out some information. Someone's going to win something great from Delta yeah. and a whole bunch Real of other manufacturers bus. also. Mm -hmm. That's right. Next week? Next week, we are heading down to Florida. To Florida. Osceola Outfit. That's right, with Uncle Hop. With, with a dear old, old friend of ours. Old? Uncle Jim That's Zumbo. Me. He, you know, for years, he's always wanted to go bull hunting with us. Well, we're slowly but surely getting him yeah. to flinging an arrow out of a Hoyt bow. But, but until we get him there... We got him shooting his 10 point. Shooting That's 10 right, point. so you don't want to miss next week's show. And we want to thank you for watching this week's show and making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. Next week down next in Florida. Week.